the simplest motion sensing lighting setup that you can make. I finally had to take this solar light apart because the NC battery pack doesn't hold a charge anymore. So what I got out of it is a motion sensor unit and with that you can make a simple motion sensing light and this is the circuit um, with which you can make the light. Basically you have the PIR uh, the pyroelectric infrared unit or the motion sensor. You have a positive and a negative. There are three leads coming out from the motion sensor. One is positive, negative, and you have the output. The output actually outputs about 3.3 .3 volt. You can actually lit up a small LED, maybe a red LED. It gives out about 10 MA, so you can actually, uh, as is, use this part, this, uh, this part of the circuit to light up in a small LED. But if you run, if you want to run something a little uh, brighter, you can add a small transistor like a BC547 and you add a 1K ohm resistor here to the base and then you can add your LED here um, to the collector side and um, depending on the voltage you use if you're using 5 volt you probably should put a small resistor here, maybe like a 100 ohm resistor and then uh, your emitter is connected to ground and you can use a 5 volt to 12 volt battery power supply if you're using 5 volt then the resistor would be of a certain value if you're using 12 volt then your resistor will have to change or you can connect more LEDs in series I think anyway um, this would be the setup very um, simple I have it connected to a breadboard here let me turn it on this is the BC547 and the base is connected to the 1k resistor here right and then uh, this is the output from the motion sensor and then you have the positive coming out I connected to the positive and the negative of the motion sensor I connected it to the negative of the breadboard and this is the lens the lens controls uh, the angle of the detection and also the distance. This will work without the lens, but I'm not sure what would be the range. There is a potentiometer here. This is the potentiometer. You can adjust the duration of how long that LED would stay on. And I think there are let me see here. I think there's a connection here for a dot dark sensor. I think the connection is right over here. Connection to a dark sensor. So if you have a dark sensor, this wouldn't light, wouldn't lit up in the daytime, only um, at the night, at night, and when you move in front of it. So that's it. Um, the three wires connected to the sensor is, as I said before, the red would be the positive and you have black a negative. And then the third connection is the output. The output 
is uh, 3.3 volt and about 10 MA and like I said before you can actually use the output to uh, power an LED but if you want to have a brighter LED you can connect three or probably four LED to this uh, using this BC547 if you want to control a bigger load you can use a power transistor a MOSFET um, or you can use the transistor to trigger a relay it can be it can be a DC volt uh, DC light or uh, you can connect the relay to um, to an AC uh, output I was just playing around so I just connected the output to the transistor and then the transistor turns the LED this is a white LED it turns it on and off there is no adjustment for the sensitivity uh, of the movement so that's it um, put the lens cap here this actually is the sensor here and this is the board that I took out from this unit here this is a Radio Shack motion detector alarm I got this I got this from a friend uh, he used to use it in his store so it makes that noise when, when something passes 